Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of more than a dozen Metro and State Awards for broadcast excellence. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Tuesday, October 14th, 2008. And here's a look at the stories making news across your Linmar campus. Our top story, there are only a few days left in the quarter. What does that mean for you? Today, for the Freshman Files, Amen and Nikki have some news you can use. Guys? Freshmen, have you looked ahead to the second quarter schedule? Why not? If there's a problem, now is the time to get it fixed. Don't wait until next week. Go to the counseling office and set up an appointment with Miss Hall or Miss Gallo. Do it this week. Upperclassmen, you have been through the schedule thing before. So now, so we know all of you have your schedule problems already worked out. If not, set up an appointment with your counselor. Today. Today. Betsy. Back to you. Thanks, guys. That is good advice. The Marion Police are asking students who park off campus to not walk through private yards. The police urge you to use the sidewalks to walk to school. Please respect the property of our Linmar neighbors. Thank you. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. Have you ever wanted to see England and France? Cities? Countrysides? Well, here's your chance. Mr. Kibbe and members of the Social Studies and English Departments are offering a tour for Limar students to England and France this summer. Tour cities such as Paris and London, as well as visit the Notre Dame Cathedral, the Dover Castle, and more. Talk to Mr. Kibbe for more information. Welcome back. Homecoming 2008. It's a week you'll want to remember forever, and LMTV can help. We are selling homecoming DVDs for the low price of $5. Order yours today. See Mrs. Fry in room A107. The Academic Award Assembly is coming up on Thursday, November 6th. Have you checked the list on the black bulletin board outside of the main office? If there is a problem, see Honey Sue today. Now, Brett Jones takes a look at the morning sports. Brett? Thanks, Betsy. On the scoreboard, freshman football beat Kennedy 20 to nothing. Freshman volleyball beat Marion. Tonight in Linmar Sports. JV and Varsity Girls Swimming will meet Decorah and Kennedy at Co Pool at 6.30. Sophomore JV and Varsity Volleyball travels to Dubuque Senior. Team dismissed at 2.45. In other sports news, congratulations to freshman Emily Berg. She is a Conference Athlete of the Week. Emily moved to the top of the leaderboard in the MVC in the 100 breaststroke. She ranks 11th in the 50 free. Emily has helped lead her Lion team to a league-best 8-0 record in duels this year. Anyone interested in ordering the official Nike Linmar basketball gear, listen up. Contact any Linmar basketball player or go to the athletic office for more information. Any guys planning on playing soccer this spring that would like to play indoor soccer and are not already on a team, please see Coach Brinkmeyer today in room 164. Well, Betsy, that's all I've got. Back to you. Thanks, Brett. And in news from the counselors, a representative from Kaplan University will be in the counseling office at 1030. Students preparing for the ACT can stop by the counseling office and pick up a sample test booklet. You can also look online at www.actstudent.org. See your counselor if you have any questions. Time is running out for anyone planning on taking the PSAT test. It's tomorrow. Sign up today in the counseling office. Cost is $15 and checks can be made out to Linmar High School. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Tyler takes a look at the arts and clubs. Tyler? On the Linmar club scenes, the cast for the winter play is now posted on the drama board and outside of Miss Roberts' room, H221. Thanks to everyone who auditioned. There is an FCA meeting Thursday morning at 745 in the Upper Commons. All are welcome. This is Ally Week. Help make Linmar a safer and more welcoming school by being an ally. Sign the Ally Pledge card before school in the four-way to show your support. Here is today's Gay History Month question. Who was the first NBA player to come, in, to come out and what is the name of the book that he wrote? 
turn in your answer in the box in the media center for your chance at a $50 prize. Math team practices tomorrow after school in room F-157. Any student interested in traveling to Costa Rica this summer should see Mr. Hutchison in room G-145 to get it and information packet. The sign-up deadline is Friday. That's your club update. Betsy, back to you. Thanks, Tyler. And today on Channel One, the story of an eagle that took its first flight after 14 years in captivity. That's today at 3 on LMTV. Now, Brett, has your first look at today's lunch? Well, it's the delicious Chicken Tuesday today. And the lunch ladies have got a chicken patty with country blend veggies, pineapple pieces, and a chocolate chip brownie. The other lines will offer the hamburger bar, chef salad, pizza, or a la carte item. The food court serves french fries with the chicken patty. That's lunch, Betsy. Back to you. Thanks, Brett. Now, weatherman Alex Starr, what has happened to our great weather? Well, Betsy, it's called fall, and we're going to start seeing some more of it. In the Midwest, we're going to experience some really interesting weather. The winter storm that took place in the west will bring a cold front, causing temperatures to drop. Also, remnants of Hurricane Norbert will blow some moisture into the area. Coming in tomorrow, a high-pressure system in the southeast will trap most of that rain in our region. My LMTV forecast calls today for clouds and a high of 61. Tonight will bring some intermittent rain with a low of 44. And tomorrow, we'll see even more rain with another high of 61. That's the latest on the weather. Back to you, Betsy. Thanks, Alex. And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day.